and you talk about meta trends a lot and we've covered a few and I'm wondering if there's any others that you kind of want to put you know, uh, on our minds, you've talked. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, sure. Uh, let's talk about humanoid robots. Um, you know, we've been in the science fiction world promised for ages flying cars and humanoid robots, <laughs> right? Well, yeah, they're finally kind of here. Um, you know, on the flying cars, technically electric vertical takeoff or landing EV tolls. There's a dozen companies uh, producing them. Uh, I just bought one called uh, Jetson One. Um, which is a single person, more like a uh, uh, a single single person runabout uh, that for fun, all right? It's 100K. Uh, they're in starting production now. Um, but places like Joby um, uh, and uh, uh, Beta and a few others that are very real, going through all FA approvals that will uh, take you you know, point to point at 150, 200 miles per hour, you know, a couple hundred kilometers per hour will will change how we get places. Uh, and that's cool. But what's really cool is the humanoid robot world. Um, and what does that mean? Well, we now have the ability to begin to create robots that functionally look and operate like humans. Uh, five fingers, two legs, bipeds. And why would you do that? Because our physical world around us was built for us, right? With doorknobs and stairs and gas pedals and all of those things. So the easiest way to replace labor, or in one case, augment labor, because labor is getting harder uh, to get access to, is build robots that can do what humans can do. And at the end of the day, what is making this possible isn't better motors and, and better materials, so those are here as well, but it's going to be this AI revolution. Um, it's going to power, it's going to provide a physical instantiation for AI in these in these robots that will be able to, uh, you can talk to it, have it understand what you want, and have it go off and do it with a high degree of certainty. And we're going to see a very steep part of the curve here. So, you know, probably the best known one is Optimus by Tesla. You know, Elon is, wants to produce these for, you know, 20K or less. Um, and, you know, if you were to go and lease a $20,000 car, I mean, you're paying, what, a couple hundred bucks a month, right? So imagine paying a couple hundred bucks a month to have your own personalized humanoid butler uh, or maid mowing the grass and doing the dishes and doing whatever you need to do that is getting smarter and smarter every day. Why? Not because the physical hardware is upgrading, but because the software is upgrading all the time. It's learning new tasks, learning new skills, learning how to evaluate the image, how to learn how to be more delicate with things. Um, and just like, you know, my I have a Model S and a Model X Tesla, as those cars are getting uploads all the time, I'm still waiting for my uh, full self-driving mode. Don't have that yet, uh, but we'll get there. And so Humanoid Robots is a company I invested in called Figure um, that is, uh, looks to be one of the top robotic Humanoid Robot companies, but there are going to be dozens of these companies. And so we will see millions, tens of millions of robots, Humanoid Robots by 2030, maybe a billion plus by 2040. Man, wow. I guess this is this new reality that our children are gonna grow up where it's just normal to have humanoid robots walking down the street and surrounding you, and that's just normal. Do you remember the first time you saw somebody with Bluetooth earphones on a cell phone walking down the street just talking to themselves? And you're like, that looks so weird, right? And it's like, who is that person? Uh, and then the next time you saw just, you know, four people, a family of four at a dinner table with their phones out looking like this. It's like, that is so, we're now we're gonna th you know, now these things are normal. Yes, they're gonna be weird in the very beginning and then they're gonna be fully accepted. You know, here in Santa Monica, we've got these uh, little six wheeled uh, delivery robots that are delivering, uh, you know, six packs of Coke or, uh, you know, sandwiches from the local foods, you know, so they're traveling all over there. I think they're called Coco robots. They're traveling all over the streets here. And the first time everybody's like photographing them and then now it's like oh, get out of my way for god's sakes 
No. <laughs> so they're fully autonomous vehicles that are just doing deliveries and coming back? They're, they're doing deliveries and coming back and they're autonomous for most of it, but there's a human interface when it gets into some kind of trouble. But there's no human inside of it. No, it's about the size of a uh, small uh, uh, <laughs> cooler. Yeah. Okay. We haven't seen those in London. I'll probably take a picture first time. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public. And he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to London Real Life TV forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's going to happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. The greedy bankers are about to do it again. In 2008, they crashed our financial system and nearly bankrupted the entire global economy. Then they received trillions of dollars in government bailouts. And after, they demanded fat bonuses paid for by you, the taxpayer. It turns out the banks haven't just been screwing the American taxpayers, they're also screwing over their investors. Turns out uh, the banking industry is the worst place you could put your money, despite enormous taxpayer bailouts. Now the bankers are back to take away your financial freedom. They lie and tell you that cryptocurrency isn't safe. They try to make it illegal for you to choose how to invest your hard-earned money. They lie and say cryptocurrency is used by money launderers and criminals. But look at the record. It's the banks themselves that launder hundreds of billions of dollars every year to the biggest criminal operations in the world. Leaked documents have revealed how some UK banks have helped criminals, money launderers and Russians under sanctions. American authorities discovered that the Sinaloa cartel moved $881 million through HSBC accounts as bank officials turned a blind eye to the illegality. The bankers lie and say cryptocurrency is not a real investment. Meanwhile, the smartest CEOs in the world are buying billions and billions of it. The truth is that banks lie about cryptocurrency because it makes them scared. The banks take $9 trillion per year of your hard-earned money, and they are worried that they will finally be exposed. They're scared because crypto means they can no longer control your money, which means they can no longer control you. They are scared because you might actually understand your money and intelligently decide what to do with it. Now is the time for us to come together, fight back and take control. It's time to educate ourselves, our families and our communities. Because financial education means financial freedom. We know that cryptocurrencies will help us build the new decentralized financial system of the future a banking system that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. A banking system where access to finance is a fundamental human right. A banking system that is free and fair and welcomes all humans on this earth. The DeFi revolution is happening. We, the people, can no longer be fooled. We choose to take control of our finances. We choose to take control of our freedom we choose to take control of our future. Join us and let's take back our financial freedom forever.